Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss one very interesting project continuing my previous discussion. So in my previous video here you can see I have already discussed k-means clustering for image segregation. Okay, that is I am having different images like previously we have considered different shapes like star shape, circle shape, triangle shape, square shape images present in a uh, particular folder. Now we need to just uh, make a cluster or make uh, unsupervised machine learning such that all the circular shape will be coming to one particular cluster all the star shape will be reaching to another particular cluster all the triangle will go to another particular cluster and all the square will go to another particular cluster right i have discussed already in my previous video you can refer this particular video the link i'll be providing in the description box now here what feature extraction technique i have discussed that is nothing but calculating area of each binary object what is the uh, total number of elements present in their convex hull right how many pixels are they are pre present in the perimeter all these things we have considered because this is simple binary image now consider the same use case for a uh, color image and which is not so simple like here you can see i am having images of dogs and cats here you can see total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 multiplied by 218 okay 19 20 21 22 23 24 24 images out of which 1 2 3 4 5 then 6 7 8 9 uh, 10 11 12 so these 12 images are for cat and race 12 are for dogs as you can see now what we have to do this is all these images of cats and dogs are combined and present in a single folder pets now i have created two empty folder okay a which is empty as you can see and another folder b which is also empty you can see what I have to do, I have to put all the cat's images in one particular folder. I have to put all the dog's images in another particular folder. Okay. So for this, we are going to apply our same approach. First step is feature extraction. Next, apply k-means. And if k-means works properly, all the cat's images will be going to one particular cluster. All the dog's images will go to another particular cluster. And from there, what we can do, we can uh, simply uh, just... Uh, read the elements of cluster and if that is belonging to uh, first cluster then we will put all those in a particular uh, fold, uh, file or if those are if uh, elements are belonging to another cluster we will put in a another file or folder like that okay so but the question comes feature extraction now this time we need the help of deep learning because this is not so simple that we will be considering the boundary pixels or convex are like that because this is color image and the best way or simplest way I can say to extract features from color image is apply deep learning let deep learning model which is pre-trained like you can use AlexNet or some other model okay to extract the features from the image okay because you know that machine learning has the, uh, no power to extract the feature so that's why in machine learning problem we need to extract feature and pass uh, to the training model but deep learning models can extract the features by itself okay many features it will extract so for this particular purpose also i have created this particular uh, project classify the type of football where we have classified different types of football okay from kaggle data set i have taken so this particular was one classification problem anyway i am going to take this particular same code and i will be doing the required modifications okay so clc clear all close all warning of as we generally do now instead of AlexNet, I am going to show you with another particular pre-trained deep learning network and that is basically here I am going to use from this documentation ResNet 18. Okay, ResNet 18 network which is another pre-trained network but before using this in your MATLAB ensure that it is present in your uh, or installed in your MATLAB. Okay, a system. Right, if it is not installed what you do you go to add-ons. Okay, and from add-ons you go to get add-ons and from get add-ons one new this kind of window will pop up and here you just simply search uh, it will take some time to load okay so here you just search resnet 
18 okay and hit enter so see here deep learning toolbox model for ResNet 18 network so if you click on this you can install as it is already installed so the install option is not coming anyway i hope you have understood this so what i will do here instead of AlexNet i am going to use ResNet 18 okay so matlab has done most of the things for us so which layer to take see here layer also it we will be getting pole 15 I am taking that instead of feature layer FC7 just only this part I will be modifying and no need to worry about the code code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section okay code explanation is same as I have used earlier okay just up to which particular uh, layer you want to extract the feature just you mention that and run your code okay but create one augmented image data store so that whatever the input uh, images size can be does not matter uh, this particular augmented image data store will uh, resize those images according to the requirement of our this pretend model resnet 18 okay so see then feature layer equal to pole 15 we are taking our image data store okay so what is our data store name pets so we'll do one more modification here okay right so here we have uh, done pets and here include subfolders to label source folder name so labels were required for our classification but we are this time we are doing clustering so no need to give to those things only image data store is sufficient then here we are specifying the uh, uh, label so this line is also not required actually directly we can go to input size we are taking input size we are creating augmented data store according to that and then here we are applying our activation and here classifier also not required safe classifier also not required so once we extract the features what we can do we can simply apply our k-means okay k-means of so here our features are basically this feature train right so here i'll be just uh, pasting this and then comma uh, there are two different uh, sets of images or classes present so two i am writing okay and then here uh, I want to ensure that the k-means will not stop in its local solution so I am going to re repeat this k-means experiment five times okay so replicate comma five five times repetition it is well and good now what we have to do so ms will contain what ms will contain the indexes that is each image is belonging to either first class or second class now the thing is that what we have to do if suppose all the images are belonging to first class we need to put one particular folder maybe folder a and all the images are belonging to second cluster we need to put in folder b that's how modification we need to do okay so first let us uh, take path name okay path name of a what is the path name of a very simple you just click on this go to a folder and select folder here you will be getting just if you click here complete path you will be getting and here in the path name a i will be just simply putting this path name inside one string all right similarly here what i will do i will be making path name b okay path name b equal to i will be taking this to my b folder which is now empty for the time being as you can see here nothing is present but soon it will be populated if everything goes properly with proper one folder will be having all the cats images another folder will be having all the dogs images okay now we will traverse in our image database okay so for i equal to one colon number of elements present in my imds dot what see imd is my image data store in that files that how many files present that many number of times we need to traverse and i am ending this for loop okay now if ms of i equal to equal to 1 we need to do something else we will do something so if ms of i equal to equal to 1 so what i will do i am making here one temp folder temp equal to 1 gem equal to 1 okay so i will just increment each time and i will be storing this so i am reading the image img or i can read the image outside this also because anyway whether the belong uh, the image is belonging to first or second cluster does not matter i have to at least read right so read image okay so read image imds comma i the i the image i am reading and then here what i am doing here 
file name equal to file name will be deciding based on this temp and gem variable okay so file name equal to string concatenation of our basically um, temp is one number right so num to str will be doing and here temp and then uh, this is our basically we have converted the integer to string but we have we need to give certain extension right so for the time being what i am doing i am suppose giving dot bmp extension okay bmp what you can do you can keep uh, like your original image also no problem just i am writing like this to because i have already discussed this way earlier now this file name we have to append with path name okay so i am right i am g comma what we have to do this image we need to uh, put in this particular path name plus file name okay so string concatenation of our this path name a comma file name right so whatever images will be belonging to first cluster those will be stored in a okay we don't know whether that is uh, cat or dog and next time we can increment this so temp equal to 10 plus 1 else else what we have to do else i'll be simply copying this and pasting here and here this i'll be making gem variable and this will be gem equal to gem plus one right and this will be we want to store in b directory so path name b i am writing okay so hope it will work before running this code let me ensure you one thing so in pets these images are present and now currently my a folder is completely empty and same like b folder okay so let me do one thing let me just make those both of them open okay so now this training will be happening feature instruction and then training okay let's observe them so i will be running this particular piece of code but it is going to take some time as you can understand this is deep learning so feature extraction all those things will take time right so some error we are getting okay i need to specify the path properly it is in desktop run this let's hope we will not be getting any error and all the images will be appearing properly now both are empty feature extraction in, is going on at the back end then our k-means will be ge getting trained and the same thing we are replicating basically five times okay so here i guess what happened to all the images okay all the images are coming in the desktop only so let me delete this i guess we have done some mistake in the specification of path name um here i am deleting right so see our current a and b both directory are empty only what mistake we have done let us check uh, image string concatenation path name b c is a, okay 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 so here one more slash has to be given inside a or b we have to go sorry okay so still check once more see b is now empty a is now empty and our pets if you check pets has all the images right i am closing the pets part and now running this control a and evaluate selection so training got started now this time let's hope that we will not be getting an error and all the images will appear in a and b folder in one folder we don't know which folder all the cats images should come and in another folder all the dogs images should come okay so see here already training is completed uh, double arrow came let's check so dogs images it seems dogs images are coming in b folder let us verify see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 all the dogs images are coming in b folder okay no cats images came and they are actually in our original database also 12 dogs images was present so hopefully cat will be also correct like this let us maximize this and here if we just zoom see 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All the cat's images are coming in another folder. So see from where we have started and from where we are uh, where we are ending. This was our original directory, right? Where cats and dogs images combination was present. We have used feature extraction using deep learning and we have trained our k-means model by that and we have separated. So what happens due to uh, similar properties all the cats images are coming in one cluster all the dogs images are coming in another cluster. Then what we are doing if uh, the uh, index is equal to 1 that is for first cluster elements we are sending all those to our a directory and else if that is belonging to B cluster, then we are sending to B directory. Okay, so these are our original image, and here if I check now A and B both are getting populated. A is populated with our cats images, and B is populated with dogs images, as you can see. And no misclassification here. Actually, not classification. We are not applying classification. Basically, image segregation we are doing, and see no. Uh, there is no mistake happened like no cat image came coming to be a dog directly or no dog image is going to cat directly right this is the power of feature extraction using deep learning so you can play with this explore the documentation more because everything is written in a beautiful way in the documentation like here what they are doing they are extracting features and then they are here they are using fit CECOC which is basically multi-class classification SVN okay mostly we are using now instead of classification we just changed this particular part and we have used our clustering algorithm k-means okay only this particular part that's all and this is the this is not this particular piece of code is not belonging to some particular topic of machine learning this is belonging to programming knowledge which you should know if you are working with MATLAB or Python whatever this is programming knowledge which is studied in fundamental topics right so this is all for my this video I hope you have enjoyed this if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you